Welcome back everyone and thanks for tuning in again on the French Cooking Academy. My name is Stefan and today's recipe is the croque monsieur aka the ham and cheese toasted sandwiches. Really a worldwide known recipe but it's a French recipe so if you haven't seen the video I done on Tuesday about the talk about the analytical stuff about the croque monsieur you can check it out on the link on the screen. Now today I'm going to show you two versions uh, to make the croque monsieur, the classic home version, uh, simple, economical, and then we're going to look at the second version, which is the old fashioned kind of 1900 style on how to make a croque monsieur using the frying pan and also a piece of string. Eh? What a little mystery in this uh, croque monsieur making. Now, keep on watching the video if you want to find out, and let's get cooking. So as we've seen in our last video, there's two types of a croque monsieur sandwich. And let's start off with the home version of the economical version. Now, as I've said before, uh, this sandwich must be coated with butter, then you've got cheese and ham. That's it, there's nothing more. Now the bread, if it's a bit soft like this, I'm going to give you one tip. Instead of taking like hard butter like this and try to spread it and break your bread, use one of those things and melt some butter. And I'm just going to put some butter on my uh, paintbrush, a kitchen brush like that, and you can just apply this on your bread. Next, when you're done with the butter, we're going to add some cheese. Now, the cheese, a lot of people say you have to use grated cheese. I mean, why? You know, we've invented basically the sliced cheese, which is a square, which is perfect. So you take one piece of cheese, or one slice of cheese, uh, some ham that kind of fits with this and then again another slice of cheese it's that simple then you take the top put it there and this is ready to be cooked now let's look at the second version and now for the second version now what were these guys doing back in the 1900s it was so special but the croque monsieur making when you order it what i found out in reading in books that cooking really i think in to modern time has regressed rather than progressed because there was much more attention to detail back then so the croque monsieur from before from the 1900s uh, economical it's got the whole bread this is hard this is tough for these guys, back in the time when you make a croque monsieur, you basically have to cut off any hard bits on your bread. And that means you're going to trim everything like this, every single uh, side and corners. Now, if you think that this is going to be a waste, uh, you can use this as the perfect addition to eat with your soft boiled eggs. And I've got a video on this. So let's cut all of the sides and then we'll put the butter on. When you're done cutting your bread, you get this, and this is just the white of the bread. So same as before, I'm going to use the trick with my paintbrush and the butter. Once we're done with the butter, same as before, uh, we're going to do one slice of cheese, then the ham, another slice of cheese, and then we're going to cover it. And bang! Look at that! Alright, so we've done our sandwich, we've got the cheese and the ham and everything. And the last step, which is that old fashioned step, is when we're going to be using this thing here. So apparently, uh, you need to be using a string. So you put a piece of string and it says that you have to make a packet <laughs> with your sandwich. Uh, so I'm not the best at this, but you can try to make a package. So I'm making a little cross like that. Hold here in the middle, turn it over. Cross again. I'm going to turn that way because it's easier. And then you can pass this through one of the strings. And then basically from here you're just going to make a knot and attach your sandwich. When you've wrapped up your sandwich you got this uh, excess of string and basically bang. Take a little scissor and you cut it all. And that's it. We're all done. We've made the classic economical version, the non-first version as you can see, and here the much more elaborate old-fashioned gourmet version of the croque monsieur from the 1900. Now let's cook these beauties. We're going to cook this croque monsieur in a frying pan. You start on a very very low heat frying pan and then a good nudge of butter. And these things are not for the diet. As soon as the butter is melted, you're going to take your we start with the, the classic one and you're just gonna 
move it around to make sure you got all this nice butter coated into it. You leave the heat on low and you use one of those, just a lid, and you're going to cook it on each side for four minutes. After four minutes, you're going to check your toast, and as you can see, it's got a nice color in here. Before you put it back, again, you have to add some more butter. That's always the trick. The time is up, turn the heat off. Uh, I'm going to reserve it on the side where we'll make the other one, just a little quick check, and oh, it is nicely melted. I'll put it on the side and we'll make the other one. Another second one. So first off, I can see it's very handy to handle over the little string there. Same process. Four minutes is done. Woo, nice color. And a bit of butter. And turn that thing on the other side. Whoopa. And there it goes for another four minutes before we're done. When this is cooked, I'm gonna cut them all open so we can see the result of both the classic and the old fashioned version. Right, so let's uh, dissect the, uh, the first one, the classic. I've cut it already to, uh, to win some time and it's nice and, and crunchy if you want to see the, or listen to the crust. Very crunchy and it's very cheesy. It melts well, but I think the crust really has prevented the cooking to be a uh, everywhere. So you got some burn here and uh, it's all a bit tough on the side. Uh, still nicely enjoyable. As you can see here, it's nice and soft and you know, nice cheese and toast. And now for our old-fashioned version, fresh of the press or of the pan. So the first thing we're going to need to do is open that little present because I think it really gives that effect of opening a little present. So I'm going to open this string. So that's a bit of a drawback. But I like the effect that, you know, you need to open your little parcel kind of thing, you know, like for Christmas. Next, when it's open, we're just going to try to uh, cut that beauty. So let me try to... Let you hear the crunch. Wow, it's pretty good. Okay, so you can see the, the bits of cheese melted in here. And look at that here. Oh, it's all melted and warm. So it's really good. It's very easy to, to, ah, to actually slice. It's very hot as well. And I'm just gonna have a little, you know, bitey here. As you can see, that's the one I'm gonna. It's very soft and tell you about it. Hmm. Okay. So really, in my opinion, when you look at these things, you can see that without the big crust around, it's much more easy to eat, it's much more delicate, and the culinary experience or the gustative experience you get from this old-fashioned one actually better and then the classic one with the big crust around that's a bit rough to eat. This is very easy to eat and the amount of cheese and ham plus the amount of bread is just the right amount. So it's all blended together and it really melts in the mouth. It's absolutely beautiful. But that's for you to decide, guys. The old-fashioned version, the new version, the non-fuss or a bit of fuss with the string. In my opinion, if you want to impress your guests, maybe using that little piece of string, making that little parcel and remove the crust is just that little extra effort that's going to show you and show your guests that you really try to bring them something good on the table. But that's just my opinion. Anyway, I will leave you with this croque monsieur video and we'll resume the, the usual recipes next week starting on Tuesday. I hope you have a, a good time and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.